magnets, magnetic and non-magnetic substances. The shepherd Magnus discovered that the iron tip of his stick was stuck to the magnet. That means a magnet attracts iron. So iron is a magnetic substance. A magnetic substance is that substance that a magnet attracts. Substances that a magnet does not attract are called non-magnetic. Most substances are non-magnetic. How will you know if a substance is magnetic or non-magnetic? Take a magnet and check which substances are attracted to it. Bring a magnet near plastic. Does a magnet attract plastic? No. So, plastic is a non-magnetic substance. Bring a magnet near wood. Does a magnet attract wood? No. So, wood is non-magnetic. Bring a magnet near paper. Does a magnet attract paper? No. So, paper is non-magnetic. Bring a magnet near a rubber eraser. Does a magnet attract rubber? No. So, rubber is non-magnetic. Bring a magnet near gold. Does a magnet attract gold? No. So, gold is non-magnetic. Bring a magnet near a steel paper clip. Does a magnet attract steel? Yes. So, steel is made of iron. Iron is magnetic. We know that iron is magnetic. Most of the other substances we see around us are non-magnetic. Are there any magnetic substances other than iron? Yes. We have cobalt and nickel. So, there are three magnetic substances on earth, iron, cobalt and nickel. All other substances are non-magnetic. Here is a fun activity you can try out to see how magnets work. Keep a magnet in a paper cup. On the table, keep a paper clip made of steel and attach a small piece of thread to it. Don't let the thread be too long or else the trick won't look good. Now, move the paper cup with the magnet above the clip. The clip will rise up in the air because the magnet is attracting it. It looks like it's rising up like a kite. What did we just learn? Magnets are substances that naturally attract iron, cobalt and nickel. Iron, cobalt and nickel are called magnetic substances. All others are called non-magnetic.